here in uh, Carrollton at the SWAC. Miles Master Cole here by Tim Martin, joined by Tim Martin and Tyler Ralph. Fellas, how are we doing today? I'm good. How are you? Can't complain about a thing. It's, it's basketball season, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's a good place to be. We got Heat Lightning, HGSL team taking on uh, JL3 of the Nike EYBL. Strong move there off the rip. Jump shot is up and good. It's a way to create early. space. Definitely. Definitely. So, uh, JL3, one of the most talented teams, not only in Texas, but the country, led by Chris Johnson, Wesley Yates. Zayden High, they got a whole crew of them. What are you guys kind of expecting to see out of this group today? Tyler, we can start with you. Uh, I mean, I think it's the first time they play together. So, you know, obviously there's going to always be growing pains, you know, with, with two dynamic guards, um, you know, like you got out here. And then you got Zayden High, um, you know, who's, who's obviously grown some and kind of his body's filled out. So I think it's, it's going to be a going experience, but they got two dynamic guards. And then, you know, when you bring in Trent Walters off the, off the, off the bench, you let these guys get off the ball a little bit. Mm -hmm. and kind of roam and, and play off him. Definitely. Tim, what are you expecting from this JL3 group with all the expectations that they have? Um, no, just to piggyback off what Tyler said, you know, early in the season, you always want to try to see what your teams are going to look like defensively as well. You know, mm -hmm. are, are they moving help side? Are they on a string when the ball's moving? You know, what's the communication looking like? And in mm -hmm. terms of rebounding, you know, are they making sure that they're securing possessions and getting out in transition? Definitely. So. There's Zayden High right there doing just that, pushing the ball ahead, jumper up, Yates, no. Oh my goodness. Showtime. Zayden High coming in for the putback flush, and it's 3-2. Quick timeout called by JL3. 6-18 to play in the first quarter. It's a 3-2 lead for Heat Lightning. Um, out of the Long Island area, New York, always known for having great basketball talent. Texas, obviously, as well, should be a good battle of the two basketball states. Um, grassroots basketball season, what comes to mind when you, got, when you guys think about, you know, kids playing in the summer with their travel teams going all around the country trying to get seen by coaches? I mean, I think this is just a great weekend, you know, for basketball. You got the Sweet 16, um, you know, like I just got a chance to go down to San Fran and watch Gonzaga and oh, Duke. Nice. And, 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 you know, you can't help but sit up there and, you know, Tim and me work with, with a lot of these kids. Um, and just, I, I think it's seeing their dreams come true, really, yeah. and, and trying to be a part of it. Um, you know, and, and Tim and I play a very small part uh, of it. But, you know, I think that's what comes to mind, man. Like, I played, and, you know, you dream as a little kid about, about playing the NCAA tournament and this that time of year. And then these kids got to go out and – and show on the big stage and, and, and get their looks and you know it's earned on the court um always yeah absolutely yeah no it's it just like tyler said you know this is the springtime you know spring and summer is where, where players are made and and you know with these guys traveling and stuff these are things that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives you know obviously we me and tyler still talk about you know just childhood memories or days when we was in high school and you know you just never forget it so for these guys i know it's a special time um but at the end of the day, you know, this is a great platform to be able to showcase your talent and, and get to that next level. Definitely. Yeah. Here's Coleman with the basketball for Heat Lightning. Pressure defense Ooh, here. That's a bad oh, yeah, definitely back for it. Just yeah. stepped over the line. And it will be That's a great call out of a timeout just to kind of switch the tempo up and, and trap them and, and kind of get them out of, out of character a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Throwing them different looks and, and getting teams on their heels early. Here comes Johnson for JL3. He'll give it out to High. He's got that perimeter skill set as well. Here they go. Trying to find a way to get it done. Cole, no. And here we go the other way. It is Heat Lightning with the basketball. It's Mobley with it. He'll give it up and they're going to work it around. Now it's Marshall. What's he going to do? He'll drive left, revert back right. He'll hand it off right there to Mobley. 30 second shot clock in effect here as well. Mobley steaming all the way through. Lays it in. You know, I, I'm liking when I see him for JL3 just being aggressive early on in the game. You've seen probably the last few possessions doing a great job of just getting paint touches, yep. forcing the defense to collapse and eventually trying to spread open their floor. Mm -hmm. High takes a charge right there. He's been active at both ends. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, just the last play before that last time out, he, he rebounds, kicks it, and then gets a follow tip dunk. And then you see him just take a charge at 6'10. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen him in a year, and, and he looks. Yeah, he looks every part of a high major four man right yeah. now. I remember seeing him last May in Houston when he was playing 16 U. That might have been backcourt as well. It was Johnson crossed over the line, and yeah, you're completely right, Tyler. Like he's got a really nice inside out skill set that skill set, excuse me, that college coaches value at a really really high level right now. And 
he's clearly added bulk to his frame a little bit, still has some more room to go there, and he's a legit 6'9", 6'10", so yeah. there's a lot to like. Early 5-2 lead, here's Mobley with it, got a trap coming his way, gets rid of it, turns it over, going the other way. And JL3 just doing a great job defensively, you know, being aggressive too, you know, being very disruptive on the ball. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to see early on from the, from the coach's standpoint. Definitely, because both these teams trying to get going. The live period is right around the corner, two weeks away, and that evaluation period is when uh, when scholarships are earned. High, That's picking big, top three. That's an NBA three right there. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Yeah, and, and you know, and then and then the last time they didn't score off it, but he made a shot fake, drove it, and, and kicked it o over to the opposite slot, and like. <laughs> Now, nowadays, it's just so valuable if you have a pick and popper who can make plays and shoot the ball, um, you know, as we're seeing in the tournament right now. Yeah. Definitely. Here is Mobley trying to create another turnover. We, we say it all the time, ball security is job security, and Heat Lightning, the last few possessions, have not done a good job of that. Yeah, that's just deflating, you know, especially for a team. I think that's what the third, fourth consecutive turnover. Yeah. You definitely got to take care of the ball move, moving forward. 1,000%. Yeah. Here comes JL3 into the game. It's Trenton Waters. Or Walters, excuse me. Undersized guard, but I've heard a lot of good things about him. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, Trenton's one of our kids. He's, he's been in our program since second grade. So, you know, I'm biased. It's my godson. <laughs> 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 you know, but, but the biggest thing about Trenton is uh, – it is he's just a flat out competitor you can't keep him out of the lane he's in the gym every single day you know 7 a.m he'll leave at 10 30 so he's, he's gonna work i think he's a great leader and this is you know this is what college coaches want to see is is from a small guard can you can you you know you have wesley yates you have chris johnson these are high major guys mm -hmm. yep. and can you be a leader with these high major guys and and can you can you make things happen and and i, I think this is an interesting dynamic with, with what jl 3s done and you know shout out to jl 3 and the recruiting job that they've done in texas yeah no they've they've added it seems like you know just from last year they've bolstered up the program to another level here he is right here operating in the two-man game weaving through a little hesitation move drive and kick to high corner three it is up it is short mm -hmm. Rebound battled for, and the, young, the little fella gets it. Trenton Walters kicks it out. Thought about another three, but they're going to work it down low. Good swarming defense there from Heat Lightning to force the turnover. And here they go the other way. Up ahead with layup. Nice adjustment and finish from Kyle Marshall. It's a yeah. tough finish. That's a very tough finish. Turnover there. Good pressure from Lightning again. Not taking care of the basketball. Layup. Mobley count it. It's 10-5 lead for Heat Lightning. Yeah, I think with these games, and I mean, you see it in the tournament too, you know, Iowa State last night, 18 turnovers. If you turn the ball over, <laughs> you are going to be in trouble. Yep. yep, there's another one right there. Walters turned that one over, made a nice move, but couldn't get it. Hi, said, meet me uptown, my friend. My goodness, what a block. Yeah, he, he's... Uh... <laughs> He is, he's making his presence felt right now, everywhere. Yeah, he, he really looks really good right now. 10-5 <laughs> lead, 3.09 to go in the first quarter here from the jump, the circuit league session one. Miles Mastercola here with Tim Martin and Tyler Ralph on the call on the Hoop State Network. And here is Acker for Heat Lightning. They're going to drive and kick. Corner three is up and good. And can't commit off to a great you can't start. commit off the corners. No, nah, you, you really can't. And there's no need to help in the corner because all you can do is shoot the ball. Right. You know? and, but those kick out threes, very high percentage shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. And it is going to stay with JL3 right there. And you can tell that this is a big time game because there's probably about a dozen cameras on the baseline right now. 13-5 is the count high on the inbound. They're going to give it out to Walters, Liberty, Texas kid. Corner three is up, way off. Rebound battle for it, not battle for it. Here comes Heat Lightning, Mobley down the lane, reverse layup, no. Try to put some English on it. Blocked underneath, and now here comes Zayden High in transition. High throws it up, little catch, missed that one badly. And now we're going the other way. Got to finish that. Yeah. yeah. A little sloppy here early. That three is up and good. Heat who's, Lightning finds a way to make shot. Who's 21? They have him listed as T Mobley. He's, he's getting after it right now. That's a tough kid right there. He is one of those New York kids. 
you know that that obviously isn't isn't worried about who these guys are. No, and and he's he's got what ten points I think already. At least, at least. Um, you know, so I mean, controlling the game, controlling the dynamic of the game, and and when you're at this level, man, I, I think you know it's all it's always going to be about opportunities, and, and obviously this kid is. You know, if there's college coaches here, they'd be looking at who who this kid is because he's playing, he's playing tough, he's playing well, he's making shots, he's getting in the lane. Um, you know, and if you can control the game and the pace, you're, you're invaluable to your team. Yeah, it's, it's definitely contagious. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's being very disruptive defensively, getting out in the open court and transition. I mean, that's, that's definitely getting your team easy buckets. They're up 16 to five. You know, now we're, we're going to see what what JL three is. What they're looking to do here, at least just trying to get to the free throw line or drop, you know, run, running some plays, looking for some good options. Definitely. JL3, a preseason top 15 team, and Heat Lightning trying to pull the upset. And, you know, you talked about it, Tyler, like those kids from New York, they have a different level of fearlessness yeah. every single time. They don't care what's on your jersey. They're going to go right at you. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing Shaheen Holloway said, man. And, and like, that's, you know, that's who that's who New Yorkers are. Yep, 1,000%. Layup up there, good. That's a nice finish in transition from Jerome on the break, 18-5 lead for Heat Lightning over JL3. This would be an upset, I'll tell you what. See if they can get it going here. JL3 looking to create. Kick out in the corner, it's Walters with it. He's gonna try to attack baseline. Snatch dribble, kick out to High. He'll settle it down a little bit. High's gonna drive, that's an offensive foul. Yeah, JL3 is going to have to do a better job of just getting into some kind of camaraderie on the offensive end. You know, you got everybody just kind of standing and watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely would love to see a little bit more movement with the ball. Yeah. Getting guys more touches. But now, yeah. to, to your point, Tyler, I've always had respect for New Yorkers and, and guys just from the Northeast, the tri-state area. I mean, whatever they lack from an athletic standpoint or skill set standpoint, the one thing that you're always going to get from those guys or players from the Northeast is just that grit. Yeah, just that mentality alone, you know, they're going to compete on every possession. Right, right there. there's no there's no question about that. You know, and this is and, and you just you're seeing it with St. Peter's in the NCAA tournament, you know, guys that play hard, guys that that don't care about what your stars are. And uh, you know, and, and and right now it's I mean, Heat Lightning, it's it's everything's in transition. Um, you know, they're almost playing, you know, 3 on 1 on the break right now and and I don't care how good you are. Three on one, you're, you're, you're going to get beat. Yeah, they're doing a great job turning defense and offense right now, getting out in transition with purpose. Strong drive and layup there by Jacob Cole. They're going to need more of that. Now you got to get stopped. you got to yeah. start eating it into this lead, trying to get some kind of momentum before the end of the first half. Definitely. Here's Adder with it. Heat Lightning are trying to get into some stuff here. Stepped out of bounds. Right. And it is going the other way. 42.6 on the clock. We'll see if JL3 can get back into this one a little bit. Here comes Chris Johnson. Play up on yeah, so now they're in a 1-2-2. Two, two. They switched it up. Oh, high again. Try to punch it in. Had it stripped away. Called for the foul. Talking about that one-two-two two look? Yeah, I think like against a team that maybe, you know, I think on paper, obviously, you know, you would say JL3 is more talented. You've got to switch them up. You've got to kind of, you know, you know, keep them guessing. You, yeah. you don't you don't want their aggression to take over. You want them to almost start to play tentative. Um, you know, so man, he's doing a really good job right now. Yeah. Um, you know, with this team switching the defenses up and and, and I love coaches that possess great energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. It's and, translatable to the rest it, of the lineup. It is, it is. And I think it really, it helps kids, you know, play harder. It feels like you're out there with them. And, and you know, coaches like, I'm a fan of coaches with great energy, um, you know, because I, I think it gives kids that, that extra, you know, assertiveness they need. Right. Mm -hmm. We're definitely right there. Here's Heat Lightning all the way down. Scoop layup. Called for the travel. Mm. Had a fellow open underneath as well, but didn't find him. Now JL3 is going to try to chip away a little bit more. 18.4 seconds to go. Definitely want to slow it down right here and yeah. try to get that last shot. Yeah. yeah, run something good here. Here's Johnson with it mm. in the middle of the floor at Zayden High. You got to kick that. Yep. Kind of got collapsed on, by the zone. And here comes E Lightning. Drive, kick, good extra pass. They got three seconds, turnover. Going to have to heave it up at the horn. It is up and mm. no good off 
right, and at the end of one, it is 20 to 8 with Heat Lightning in front of JL3. Quick breakdown from the first quarter. Tim, we can start with you. We'll give it to Tyler first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just what we talked about. I, I think from a standpoint of, of guys that look like they played together. Yeah. You know, I think Heat Lightning, they they look like they played together. They look like they know who each other are. And, and I think that's kind of the dynamic that we thought this was going to be, is these guys are, you know, they've never played together before. Mm -hmm. and, and and it's hard. I mean, you, you see it in the NBA all the way down. Like, you got to kind of feel each other out. And then, you know, he Lightning's really good in transition. Um, you know, they switched up their defense a couple times. You know, I think, you know, JL3 needs to kind of heat their pressure up. They got length on the guards. Mm -hmm. um, and then at the end of the, at, at the end of that, at the quarter, there's 17 seconds left. It, it's one shot. Yep. And, 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 and like, that's situational basketball. And, and you need to know that. You know, it, it's one shot. And, and, um, you know, you, you, you got to kind of get that one shot, last possession. Yeah. You can't let the other team come down and, and get a shot at the basket in 17 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, chemistry is so underrated, I think, uh, just from a team aspect. Obviously, you know, every coach's dream is just to always have the most talented team. But essentially, you look at, at the heat, I mean, just the chemistry alone, they're giving up so much size. But at the same time, you see the cohesiveness, not just on the defensive end, but offensively, guys are getting touches, balls moving. You know, and it's making JL3's job a lot harder just scrambling around. And so, you know, in exchange, that's where the Heat are, are getting high percentage shots and converting. Absolutely. 20 to 8, the count, 8 minutes on the clock before we wind down this first half. It will be Heat Lightning Ball coming out of the break. It looks like Eric Acker is going to inbound it from the far sideline. They're going to try to get it in. Ooh, run a little ooh, right out of bounds. Set. Set. Great side Missed the shot. Too. They got a good look. Can't be upset with that. Here comes JL3 trying to drive, kick out. Good ball movement here on the first possession of the quarter. Johnson's three is no good. And here comes Heat Lightning. You know, JL3 really needs to try to look to get into this bonus early on. Just seeing that ball go through the net, you know, that definitely gives not just your team more confidence, but just overall it allows you to get into your sets and do the things you guys are yeah. trying to execute. What, but, do you, what do you guys think the value for JL3 is of having a team that is coming out and going to punch you in the mouth early just for your first game of the year to kind of respond to that? I, I think it's great for them. I, I think, like, <laughs> I mean, any coaches, like, obviously, this isn't, this isn't the EYBL yet. Yeah. And this is adversity. Like, this is what you want. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what I would like to see JL3 is kind of pick the tempo up a little bit, try to get in transition, you know, and, and try to score. I think, you know, from a standpoint of, of who's controlling the game, it's, it's the Heat because they're getting in transition, they're getting easies. Uh, I, I would like to see how many transition points JL3 has if they have any right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that, that's a big thing. Definitely. Here is Heat Lightning trying to add to their lead. Baseline drive shot up, no. Second try is good. That's a big time effort from Eric Acker underneath. Yeah, now right now JL3, they, they just got to bring some more, more energy, be a little bit more in, in, intense on the defensive side, giving those second chance opportunities. Yep, corner three you know, up there, no good from Yates. But that follow bucket underneath is good. 22-10 the count now. Yeah, Zayden has done a good job on the offensive boards, getting some, you know, extras, as he should. You know, they got the size advantage right now. Corner three up, no good. Rebound Cole underneath is hounded for it and fouled. We go in the other way here. And this is, like, like Tyler said, this is a great position to be in, too, for JL3 in some degree because see how your guys respond, right? Yeah, you want to you deal with this early in the season. You are, like we talked about yesterday, you want to peak, you know, later. It's better to peak later than early throughout your season. But right now, I mean, we're only down 12. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. plenty of basketball left. But definitely got to convert on some of these next few possessions before yep. the end of the Tough move. Half. That was a strong take right there from Wesley Yates, one of the top prospects in the country in the 2023 class. I like how he didn't settle for the three that time. I think he's missed a couple threes. He, he drove it. You know, uh, attacks out that exile position from the opposite block. Mm. Go, they got to go now. Yep. yep. Here's Robinson pitching ahead. Easy one. Stops. That's going to go. Three. No good, missing yeah. short. Got to get to that rim. Yeah. Here comes Heat Lightning. Ball is ripped away. And see, they plays like that, you know, that that's a momentum changer. You get a big time block on one end, you have an opportunity to get in transition and just get an easy bucket. Yep. You know, that, that's a momentum changer right there. So I think moving forward, these guys definitely got to start 
thinking from that manner of being more aggressive and just getting to that realm and putting pressure on the referees to make that call. I agree 100%. I, I think you watch like, you know, and I always, uh, the translation from here to college, but you looked at North Carolina last night and when they started getting going, um, you know, Caleb Love and, and those really started attacking in transition and it kind of got his outside game going. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and that's what the best players, you know, they do. They, they attack early. You know, they want to, like Tim said, get to the free throw line, see a couple go in, you know, but the, the thing I hate, and I always tell my players, and I don't know about you, but at that next level is, like, the first shot you take, I hate it being a three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really do. Absolutely. You know, um, unless you're that lights out shooter. Yeah, unless that's And that's your job, right? Yeah. Um, because, because I think you got to find your rhythm. Yeah. And it's a tough, it's like, oh, dang, I missed one. I can't shoot this next one because I'm, you know what I mean? And then you play the hesitancy game and right. you're not yourself after that. And missing those threes, you know, I, I count that as a, as a turnover, mm -hmm. essentially. Missing a three that's a long rebound, that's easy buckets on the other end. Yep. Yes. In transition, strong yeah. finish yeah. right there from Jacob Cole. Yeah, you can't let Jacob get, I mean, he's left-handed. You can't let him get to his left hand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got to kind of take that away from him, force him the opposite way and see what he can do off his right. See what Heat Lightning can do here. Their lead is now in single digits. Corner three is up and good. That is a timely one from Pick Jared Reed. Pick out threes. Yep, they're getting a lot help off that corner help. And now here's Cole with it. What's he going to do? Has the ball in his left hand, wants a ball screen. We'll use it, we'll attack right. Finds his man in the corner, it's Robinson. And he stepped out, going the other way. And so like in, in skills, and I know Tim talks about it too, but like in the corners, you gotta, it, it, it's, it's key to play with tight feet, yes. right? And, and we've now seen two turnovers in the corner because kids are not playing with their feet being tight and being able to play out of the corners. Mm -hmm. And the corners is what spaces the floor for you. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, almost a steal there. Especially just being shot ready. Right just there, like shot right ready, bang. Damn. Right. Loading those hips and up. He chased it and got his own rebound and found a teammate for two. Mm. Fall it underneath, and it's a 27-14 lead now for Heat Lightning. In control in this one. Here is Walters with it. Wants a ball screen. He'll attack it. See what he does. Kick out there. Cole out of the triple threat. Jab step three. No. Rebound. Here comes Heat Lightning in transition. They're pushing. Trying to create. And that looked like it got deflected out. Going to stay with Heat Lightning. You know, JL3 clearly has a size advantage. You know, sometimes you just got to go old school, go inside out. I know Purdue did that uh, at the Texas game. Mm -hmm. You know, they got into the bonus early on. Uh, and, you know, I don't see why they can't do that moving down. Yeah, I mean, that was a perfect example of, like, you get a sideline ball screen, throwback, you know, throw it right down to your big fella, see what he can do. Strong drive there. It looks like it's Mobley who had a big time in the first quarter. You know, that, and that's, that's another underrated skill set, too, is even for guards just posting up. You know, being able to work that mid post, that low block. Like what Gillespie does for Villanova. Yeah, just oh. get, even getting that weak side defense to just, you know, tag and help out and double team. You know, when you kicking, skipping the ball, that creates closeouts and just, you know, guys are scrambling and just yeah. getting easier shots. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Villanova, I mean, everybody can post. Mm -hmm. So that's like, that's going to be, to me tonight, that's going to be like an interesting dynamic. Houston, you know, because Houston has um, the smaller guard. I, I yeah. want to see if they try to post him early I'm sure they will. in the Houston Villanova game yeah. and see if they, you know, have to send doubles because Nova can pass it, mm -hmm. you know, and Nova's not going to turn the ball over. They're not going to get sped up. But I think Tim's right. It's like it, there's basketball's positionless and, and everybody should be able to post because, you know, you look at Jalen Brunson for the Mavs. He's phenomenal out of yep. the post. Mm -hmm. Here is, yeah, and his, historically Villanova's always had, like you said, great, just big guards, Kyle Lowry, guys that just could be a little versatile and scoring in three areas. He yeah. Lightning is putting on a clinic. Another one right there. Yeah. And they are making things happen. Jared Weekly just had a little 4 0 run in two seconds. My goodness. He's definitely trying to make a statement today. He is. Floater up, no. Rebound tipped out. High's got it. He'll go up and finish with ease. 32 16. With all that being said, JL3 is in trouble right now. 3.43 left in the first half. They trail 32-16. See what uh, Heat Lightning can do. It's in the hands of Kyle Marshall. He'll give it up to Coleman. Coleman drives, draws a foul. 
just too easy right now for the Heat just getting into the paint. You know, the, the straight line drives. You know, defensively, you know, these guys are taught to at least turn them. You know, turn them in the help side. But right now, I'm not looking at too much communication on the defensive end from JL3. They're going to have to step it up before they're already looking down with 16. This, yeah. this lead's slowly picking up. Yeah, and like, like Tim said, it's paint touches are always going to kill you because you get kick outs. You could get fouls, but also what it creates is, is rotations and then off rotations, you know, offensive rebounding. And, yeah. and they're doing a great job moving it side to side off that dribble penetration. Yeah. Finally, they hit probably four or five corner threes at least already today. Yeah, and, and that's another thing too, like when you move the ball one side to the other, right now it's, it's making JL3 work defensively and it's taking the legs away on the offensive side. Yep. And Clearly you, a lot of their shots are coming up short, but that's because they're burning the majority of their energy on the defensive side, having to rotate and switch out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I think, like, the, the maturation process for younger guys is when you're not making shots on one end, you gotta, you got to guard the other end, and it can't affect you on this end. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing right now is, is their, their offense isn't going well. It's deflating them entirely. It, it, yeah, you, and you still got to be able to guard. And, and then, you know, once shots go, that lead isn't 18, it's, it's 10, and then it's a little easier to, to get back in the game. And, and um, you know, you, you see it with the really good college teams. They go through spells, but it doesn't affect them on the other end. Right. Um, they right. really guard, they sit down, they communicate well. Yep. Here's Yates looking to create a lot of contact. Tough, Tough layup. That was a big time finish through the contact. And he's got them back within 16, under three minutes to go in this first half. This is not the score that we expected here. Heat Lightning have come in. They came from New York, and they didn't plan on losing. And they're doing a great job here today. Strong drive. That was just too easy. Too easy. Way too easy. 33, Coleman with the finish. Here's Walters. Looking to create. Gives it out to Zayden High. Pump fake. Will drive baseline. Out to Walters. Johnson has the top of the key. Little jab step. Looking to think. And he'll take the three. Missed it short. Rebound high. Follow. Puts it in. I mean, I, I think Zayden has now six points off offensive rebounds. Yeah. So, I mean, you 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 take those away. And, and I mean, this is a 20-point first half lead. And, and I, I think what, you, what you're seeing is what we talked about early is kind of JL3 really not knowing what the other guys can do well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think they're second-guessing themselves. And, you know, and that's all going to come with Tom and playing together, um, you know. Yeah. And it's tough, and, and, you know, it's tough to prepare for teams, especially when it's everyone's first game of the season. So right. you definitely wonder, you know, was there a scout pregame? They're just kind of going into a game blind, and he Lightning have come in and, and really seized the moment here and taken advantage of the stage that they're playing on. 2.04 to go. Timeout, like we said, on the floor here at the Circuit League 1, the jump. Miles Masterpola here, Tim Martin, Tyler Ralph on the call on the Hoopstay Network. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great day of basketball ahead. Excited to bring the rest of it to you live on the air here. And uh, we're about to get the action back underway. Heat Lightning in control, 36-20. to 20. Quick predictions on the, on the college games tonight. What do, who do you all have? Oh, man. Well, I, I see, I shouldn't be here today because I thought it was going to be Gonzaga Duke. Um, so I'm salty. Uh -huh. um, I, I'm interested to see the matchup of JT Note and the guards from Duke. Yeah, because uh, uh, Roach I, has been unbelievable the last yeah, stretch. Yeah, and, and so I want to see because defensively Arkansas will really guard you with their length. So I want to see if they try to do the same thing they did to, to Nimhard and and if, if they play Tony, mm -hmm. right? North Carolina guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a North Carolina guy too. Oh, really? I was happy last night. Well, I'm a New York guy, but I like Carolina. Okay, good, good. But, but I think I'm, it's I'm gonna, kind of the same as you. So it's yeah. going to come down to the guards and then, you know, I think they'll allow Paolo to get 25 if the other guys don't beat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I, I – that Villanova-Houston game. That's going to be a war. That's what I can't wait for. You know, I'm and and you train Kyler Edwards, who's yeah. had a phenomenal season. I'm, and and we're, they're missing my little cousin, Marcus Sasser, who's the leading scorer. And that would have definitely helped for tonight's oh. game. But, you know, you can't never co uh, go against Jay Wright. He's just such a savvy veteran coach. And the biggest thing, his poise – throughout the tournament play is just phenomenal. Yeah. You know, he always has his guys prepared. One through five could, you know, get the paint touches, post up. They're so dynamic and versatile. 
But, you know, this has been a great year of, of hoops, especially just during this, this time of uh, throughout the Sweet 16. Yeah, I games. think you're seeing the best. I think tonight you'll see the best coaching matchup in the tournament with yeah. Kelvin Sampson, um, you know, and Jay Wright. I, I think from a standpoint of getting the most out of their players, I, I think, you know, those are the top two guys. And I, <laughs> That's going to be a dynamic that I, I can't wait to see. You, know, you, you made a quick, great point, too. I think you had tweeted this out, Tyler. Um, just how, you know, Jay Wright lets his guys play through mistakes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when they're dribbling, they're not just picking up their dribble. Their, their feet are active, you know, which allows you to maintain that dribble, which allows you to also make plays, you know. In, in yeah. It's always about, like, it, with too many young kids, they pick up the ball just to pick it up. There's not a solution for them. Like, you got you got to have a solution. If, if you pick up the ball because you think you're over-dribbling and you don't have a solution, like, it's not over-dribbling. It's you don't want to turn the ball over. You don't have a solution. Keep your eyes up. You know, and, and like you see in the NBA, guys dribble through baseline, mm -hmm. and it kind of messes communication up at times. But you, if you stop, and Villanova, in my opinion, does the best job of when they stop, mm -hmm. they always there's have a, solutions with their feet. Yeah. yeah. And I think the other thing is, too, with Nova, I don't know if there's a better team in the country just playing off two feet off the drive. Oh, no question no. about it. No, 30, I, 30, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, I used to coach at Green Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a high school out here, a little private school. Yep. The head coach, we used to work on the, to your point, the jump stop pivots and all that kind of stuff every day in practice. And our head coach at the time uh, Ooh, nice finish. was a roommate of Jay Wright at Bucknell back in the day. So yep. fundamentally, you know, I, I saw it with my own eyes, just these guys doing a great job. And then dribble penetration, anytime there was a strong side penetration to the rim, that was a cue for the weak side uh, guy to cut mm -hmm. back door or something yeah. like that jump here at the SWAC in Carrollton, Texas, just outside of Dallas, Dallas Miles Mastercola, Tim Martin, Tyler Ralph on the call. It's kind of been a surprising first half with the way Heat Lightning have just simply executed at a high level. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you we got the stat sheet here, and, and uh, you know, JL3 is a one to two turnover ratio. Um, you know, Heat Lightning not, isn't much better. They're one to one. You know, but then you look at the, you know, three point eight shot. 14 three-pointers in the first half and made one. And, and like Tim said, they're, they're bigger, they're stronger, and, and, and you're shooting 14 threes. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's too many threes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. No, absolutely. And, and just as we were just discussing earlier, you know, the first five minutes are going to be very important here. You know, JL3, the first possession, they come out, you know, attack the rim, get straight to the free throw line, so that's a good sign. But Couldn't connect, unfortunately. Yeah, you definitely got to just keep... Keep full throttle here these next few minutes. Here come Heat Lightning trying to get the upset of the weekend started early. Drive there and kick. We're gonna work around a little DHO set here. Taking their time with it, not rushed. Here's Coleman driving, kicking out. They gotta shoot. Shot is up, no. The but that was great defensive possession. They they dictated the tempo right from the right from the jump. Oh my goodness, Flowers or Walters, excuse me, had that blocked off the glass. That was a hell of a rejection right there. 704 to go. 40 to 27. Turnover. Here comes Heat Lightning. It's Acker. Over the top move. Floater. Couldn't get it. Follow. Blocked away. They got to they play faster right now. Here's Johnson looking to create. Almost got away with one there. Now it's Cole with it. He'll go around the screen and attack. Pull up jumper. Got fouled. Going to go to the line for two. Yeah, you know, when I was a former EYBL coach, one thing when we'd be in plenty of these situations where we're down 15, down 20, you got to have to kind of just dissect the game a little bit, you know, and, and start trying to get these small victories, you know. When you're down 13, after you hopefully make these two free throws, you know, you kind of have to simplify. And what I would do um, is try to dissect it in like three to four minute gaps, yep. you know, to where let's just win these next three to four minutes. Let's call a timeout, regroup, see where we need to make adjustments or what have you. 
And that's what JL3, they have, an, they have plenty of time to get this right. Down 11, six minutes left to go in the third. Yep, got a shot clock, so it's gonna have a good flow to it. We'll see what they're able to get. Marshall gonna drive. Mid-range jumper from the elbow area up, no good. Rebound Zayden High, got up for that one. I'm loving the heat shot selection right now, though. They're yeah. doing a good job of, you know, just getting good looks. Mm -hmm. Johnson down low. I mean, you just got to go now. Like, that's too many dribbles. You, you can't. It's, you a one, can't. it's a one dribble and go. Yeah, and, and it's about positioning. I mean, he's, he, you know, Masai catches the ball 10 feet, so where now he's got to take dribbles. It's the same thing we talked about with Purdue, Tim. I mean, like, when those guys posted against Texas, it was catch, I'm at the rim, quick move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and, and you can't take five, six dribbles against these guys. No. You know, on the post. And Johnson out of control there on the spin move. Lob it up, throws Great it up, tried to dunk it, but he just went off his fingertips. Got his own rebound and lays it in mm. for the basket. That was a strong finish there from Eric Acker, who's played well today. He's just doing a good, great job of just being ferocious. Yeah. They're just going for the kill right now. And they're just, they're really trying to make a statement, you can tell. Yeah, definitely. Here comes Heat Lightning. Throw it up, lob it up. Oh, that's, that's a finish. great tip. Wow, that was a big time finish right there. Jared Weekly, he's had himself a game as well. Just a great team performance so far. In this Heat Lightning group, Walters, a little floater. No, gets actually gets it the roll. 44-31 the count. As we're now under five minutes to go in the third quarter. Heat Lightning trying to keep their foot on the gas. See what Acker draws up here. What's he got? Round of screen. Sideline ball screen. A DHO action. Yep, and late to get out. Couldn't make him pay. High with a good box out and rebound. Here comes Chris Johnson with the ball. Eyes are up. Between the legs dribble. Try to blow by. We'll reverse course. That's good a great kick. pass. High gets it to go. That's we'll see now. Now it's a 10 point game. You know, but. I, Again, they get the ball and they're they're playing against five almost every yep. possession. Yep. It, it's, they just don't get any easies. And, yep. and I, this coach is, you know, from Heat Lightning, I think he's just done a great job, you know, kind of understanding the tempo of the game. Mm -hmm. Strong drive there. Shadow shot like that no. shot. Yeah. And here comes. JL3 trying to get back into it on a nice little run here. Kick out. Good. It's a big three. shot. Three. Johnson. Oh, yes. And those are the threes you want to take off. And, and that's transition. Yeah. yeah. And now you got numbers. Guys space to the corner. You know, Trenton gets in the lane and, and kicks it. And that's that's good basketball. You know, now that's a that's a 6-0 run, you know, in the last two possessions. And now you now you got now there's some pressure on these guys that they haven't haven't had lately. Yeah. You definitely. know, and now they're starting to rush it a little bit. So yeah. so this game is totally you know, just change. Up for grabs. Cole yep. takes the bump, lays it up. No. Rebound. Who's got right. it? It looks like he lightning do. They're going to get the stop and then bring it up. Here's Acker with it. Yeah, right here for JL3. It's the rule of three. You're trying to get three consecutive stops. You know, mentally, that, that can affect the heat, you know, because now they're going from you know, playing not to lose to playing to win. Yep. You know, and it changes the whole momentum aspect of the game. So, for JL3, if they could just focus on just getting three consecutive stops, you know, and just continue to get those paint touches. Obviously, like you just said, with Walters, you know, penetrate kick, you're going to increase your, your shooting percentages just off the top. And, uh, yeah, that's a that's another good point. And the other thing is, like, you mentioned pushing in transition, Tyler. Like, if you can continuously put yourself in odd man situations, four on three, three on two, whatever it may be, you're going to get quality looks even if they're off from the perimeter. Yeah, yeah, and I think you got to, like, you you know, I think they got to start to push the pace. You know, like Tim said, w when you get these guys, you know, the heat, lightning, and, it, and it's a seven-point game now. So, like Tim said, three stops in a row. But you can kind of see, you know, them, them tightening up a little bit. Yep. And, like, Tim, I think it's it's just a great point, and you see it with like St. Peter's Purdue, or, or when it comes down to that that winning time of playing not to lose instead of still playing to win and keeping your foot on the gas and doing what got you there, and, and that's kind of what we're seeing right now. So let's see what they do after this timeout to maybe try to get it easy and and get back. 
No, that's a, that's a turnover. Yeah, they, I, don't, I don't think they were in the right set coming out of that timeout because there was just nobody really available to throw it to, and he had to make a risk. No, but you automatically, when I look at the body language right now for the Heat Elite, you already see the, the shift of oh boy. being a little bit more yeah. tense. You know, they're not as relaxed. So, JL3 doing a great job. Walters attacking. Oh, yes, Another kick out three. Good ball movement. Johnson for three. No. That's a great rebound, though. Yeah, I'll take that. And Yates, another one. That's yes. a great so like, So, like, when you know shots are coming, mm -hmm. now guys can offensive rebound. That was right. a great offensive rebound. And then a media kick to the corner. But, like, this is what I wanted to see from Trenton was – you know, you start the second half, you're losing, oh, there you go. and now you're dictating the tempo defensively, you know, at the point of the attack, and now, bang, that's another one. Oh, Woo! Yates almost hit that one. That would have been a beauty. But they got themselves back within four and forced another turnover right here. Wesley Yates going to settle it down. He was a great job on that last corner shot of us being shot ready right off that catch. Here's high. Shot ready in the corner as well. That one is way long, actually. 44-40 is still the count. Heat Lightning still in front. You know, it's, it's funny to see that when we talk about what's contagious, passing is very contagious because Absolutely. now that the ball's moving on the offensive side for JL3, look at their intensity level on the defensive side. Guys are just starting to really, really close out harder. Mm -hmm. You know, you see their body language now coming right down, getting the block and foul back to the yep. free throw line. You know, you cut this down to two yep. right after this. Yates is going to head to the line for two right here. He's kind of awoken a little bit with a couple shots getting the fall. Played with Houston Hoops last summer, made the move over to JL3 for this spring and summer. You know, this is one thing that, not to put any other leagues down, but this is what makes the EYBL so tough. You know, you, you could be up 20 or down 20, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. These, these teams, they come at you in waves, they cut in the leads, and there's a reason why, you know, the EYBL is one of the top top leagues. But the circuit, obviously, this giving it a platform to give teams like the Heat Lightning a, an opportunity to go against each other, make a name for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a, a great overall experience, great yeah. atmosphere. And yeah, it's it's the it's the tournament. It's mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think that's why it's great is, like, you can't, you're never going to be able to shy away from just competition. No. Right. And if so, you do, you're going to get, at this day and age, you're going to get called out for it. Right. 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 And this is why I love this event, because you get Under Armour versus Nike. You get Adidas versus Nike. Adidas versus Under Armour. And the independence mixing in, it's just a great Yeah, and you get to just play. Yeah. And that's how it was when we was growing up. You know, not to sound like the old head, but, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's just a part of it. You know, a lot of these kids, like to Tyler's point, they, they don't get the opportunities like for these independent teams to, to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And really, there's no, there's not a big difference, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We see it all the time. Here is Heat Lightning up by three after the split free throws from Yates. Here they go. Mobley. That's, just, that's a great kick. Confident baseline pull up, rattled out, rebound underneath, secured by Heat Lightning from deep, way downtown. No. Rebound secured by JL3. Here comes Chris Johnson. Johnson, I'd like to see him try to get to the rim a little bit. See what he does. He's initiating things here. Has the eights flash out high for him if he wants them. Yep. Good spin move. You said it. Going all the way to the basket, couldn't get it to go. Rebound secured by Heat Lightning. You know, I say this all the time. Shot selection tells me a lot about your, your IQ. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's very important not just to be able to distribute the ball from a playmaking aspect, but, you know, being aware when, when you have the ball coming down from transition and now you're in the half court set, if you're not moving it, teams are obviously loaded up, mm -hmm. you know, on the, on the help side. So just trying to break through one through five is it, going to be very, very tough to convert. Yeah, and I mean, if you think you have a matchup, you, you got to, you know, I think he did a great job of trying to get to the rim, but like Tim said, you know, help came from the corner. That's a kick to the corner. If the slot guy slides down, then it's a kick to the slot to three. And, and you know, those are the ball movement things, and, and that's what you want to see from, you know, the good guards. And I think you see it in the tournament. I, I, you know, possessions are so valuable. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And, and you can't kick possessions away. Yep. Yes. That is a bucket, or two bucket, two baskets right there at the line. And it is 46-41, 50 seconds to go. Here's Robinson on the drive, shot up, no. Rebound secured by Heat Lightning. And even though they're kind of on the wrong side of a little run right now, if you were to tell Heat Lightning, hey, at the end of the third quarter, you're going to be up five on JL3, they'd probably be real happy with it. So they got to stay focused on the task at hand. Here's Yates looking to draw, or looking to create and move it up the court. 
Yates has a man on his hip. Pass. Yep, deflected out by Heat Lightning. Yeah, so I mean, three times in a row you saw Jay all, all three do it twice. You know, no pass drive, then you just saw it down here. And, and it was, you know, two missed shots, contested, you know, layups, and then and then a turnover. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's kind of what Tim's saying. You got to move him a little bit. Even if you have a mismatch, move him a little bit and then get at that mismatch when the defense is moving to where now you're, you're forcing guys in rotation instead of they're already in their defensive help positions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where for point guards, and Tyler, you've always done a great j job of this, obviously being the great player that you was, but this is a possession game now. You know, for JL3, you're down five, for, really for both teams, it's a possession game, but controlling tempo is the premium right here. Yes. You know? Yeah, and here we are again. You know, end of the third quarter. Let's, you know, I, I think it should be one possession. Um, you know, it's either score or miss. You don't let the other, you know, team get that opportunity right now. Yates, corner three. It's good. And, of course, he makes it when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Always how it goes. Always how it goes. Going back to the one possession right here. Got to be aware of, of the clock. In seven seconds. Yep. He's doing a great job. Mobley weaving through, jumper up, rattled out. I, I can live with that. I can live with yeah. that. Yeah. 46, 44. Yep, at the end of three. We got a great eight minutes on deck right here. It is 46 to 44. Heat lightning in front of JL3 EYBL. This one is going to go down to the bitter end here at the SWAC. It's going to be a great one. We can't wait to bring it to you live. And uh, we'll see which guy on which team makes the play late to kind of secure this one. I have a feeling it's going to go down to the last few possessions. Yeah, and I mean, I, the score at halftime was, you know, 40-26. So, you know, you know, it's 46-44. So that was a, that was an 18-6 you know, half, am I right? 40, 26, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, 18 to 6 quarter right there for JL3, and, and and they did it a multitude of ways. You know, I think they, they sped them up defensively. I think they got out in transition. You know, they made some kicks. Um, you know, I, I thought they dictated the tempo. And, and when you don't let that point guard, like we saw in the first half, get in the lane and just make rotations happen, it's going to be harder for you know the lightning to score so i, I want to see what they do now that maybe they know we can't penetrate as much maybe like some dho actions yep you know some pins and the quick hitters where they can get in the lane you know and kind of get jl3 back into to rotations but you know it's a great job by jl3 in, in that quarter and, and now we're almost even mm -hmm. yeah now just giving jl3 credit i mean it's been ugly but you know the coaches have obviously been staying on them, making sure that these guys are, you know, at least just battling. And that's all you really want to see early in the season, making sure that these guys are competing and at least just bringing effort. Yeah, definitely. Well, here comes Mobley. Had a big time first half. We'll see if he can find a, a little more magic for him in this final frame. He's picked up his dribble there, being hounded a little bit by Cole. He'll give it up, though, to Alpha. Now it's out high to Mr. Marshall. Marshall working it around. Drive here. Oh, pass is deflected right back. Lost. And here comes Chris Johnson. You know, but that goes back to Tim. Like, you know, I, it's almost like they've lost their identity with with just being like, look, we're going to attack you and attack you and attack you. They're kind of now going, you know, side to side. And, and instead of just being like, we're going to attack you. You know, and and seeing what comes out of it, I, th I think like Tim said, you know, they're almost playing, you know, not to lose in a big lead. And now, once you have big leads, and you see it in the NBA all the time, yeah, guys, teams will get up 16, 18 early, yeah. and then once that momentum shifts, it is like a wave, yeah, and, and it's tough to regain it. Mm -hmm. See what they get. And this is what I like right there. Yep. Just going inside out, put pressure on those refs to make a call. But you're also right there not only are you getting the foul call but you know those are good misses you you, you got other guys crashing getting hands on the balls getting the opportunities for more second chance opportunities and you know being down two in the fourth quarter you can this is how you control tempo mm -hmm. he's really going inside out and just kind of doing the grunt work mm -hmm. early in the fourth quarter here's the eights down low little flip shot up no good rebound secured heat lightning and they'll bring it up it's in the hands of mobley shot clock is reset 
you know, I, th I think right there, like like Tim said, just like pace in the post. Like, mm -hmm. like sometimes you got to catch it. Like they, they dug off the ball side. You know, you could have had, if he just waited a second, you know, they dug off. I could see his eyes leave. And if Wesley just relocated the corner, it's, it's a wide open three. Mm -hmm. So pace in the post, see where the help guys are, where you can rotate off. That was a strong drive there from Marshall for two. And here comes JL3 trying to get it back. Forced to kick it out. Wait, Yates for three. It's good. Mm -hmm. He's been huge this half. He's starting to get into a rhythm there. And it's a one-point game. You know, I think he's almost got 11 in this half after going one for six or one for eight in the first half. So, I mean, you know, credit to him and him just keep playing basketball and, and trusting, you know, trusting his work. Trusting the law of averages at the end of the day. 48-47. Here comes JL3 to try to take the lead. Tough drive. A lot of contact. You know, it's, it's interesting, too, just from a coach's standpoint, like, with, with JL3 just being the first tournament, I believe, is that correct? I think it's the first game under the whistle. First game. You're, you're just trying to see what you have. You know, you don't really have a rotation, so to speak, because, you know. It's a clean and, slate. Yeah, you've seen a lot of substitutions early on in this game, but now that guys are getting a couple extra minutes to, to get into the rhythm, to get into the flow of the game, you know, obviously this second half they're doing a way better job of just making more shots. Yeah, and, you know, that night, that first Nike UIBL session is two weeks away. It's a live period. It's an evaluation period for coaches. Got to get ready. Got to see who's who yep. on your lineup and uh, what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, if you're, on, if you're a Nike UIBL team, you want to win Peace Champion. You want to send your kids to the next level. That's yeah, and that's the about. only thing that matters. And I think, you know, when you play in these tournaments, you, you allow yourself as a program to kind of, you know, figure out, you know, how guys fit and who fits in certain rotations. And it gives you a good feel of, of what you're going to do going forward. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't get a lot of practice time. I think everybody knows that during the AAU season, it's it's hard, especially when you're recruiting from other states, other cities, to get you know everybody in, in the same gym mm -hmm. weekly, let alone monthly. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is just kind of on the fly coaching. Definitely. Well, here comes Marshall. He'll kick out. And what you're seeing now is, is is not so many straight line drives. Like, that's Wesley Yates helping. Now look at him, him sprinting across. Like, that's what gap. you want to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to see that defense. You want to see engagement. You want to see active feet, active hands, guys rotating. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I mean, they're just scrambling right now. Tough shot. Yeah. No good. Yeah. You forced a tough one. And now you got a chance to add to your lead. Up one. Here comes Chris Johnson. 5-4. Oh, kind of an unnecessary risk there. Yeah. Here comes Heat Lightning, lost the basketball. You can pick it up. You can pick it up and get rid of it. A lot of contact, sloppy ball, and uh, they call a foul on JL3. Yeah, and, and to your point, Tyler, like, you know, JL3 obviously with the lead now, you've done a, a way better job of just moving the ball around. So, as you said earlier, when guys know that they're going to get the ball, mm -hmm. Defensively, they're going to still be engaged and at least want to c compete, you know. And, and especially with this newer generation, during our day, it was a little bit different. <laughs> where if you wasn't busting your butt on the defensive side, you, you weren't were, getting the ball. Yeah, and you were coming out the game. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see what they get here. Here comes Mobley. Mobley kind of for bang, loses it. Here comes Wesley Yates pushing Spacing. the basketball. Spacing. Mm -hmm. Good decision by Johnson to kind of take it out. High thought about it. He'll kick oh, in the middle of the cut. floor. Quick Extra pass. pass. Yates should have shot the first one probably, but he'll take the yeah. second one and miss it. Rebound underneath Johnson. Going to go to the line for two. Yeah, I mean, I would have seen, I would have loved to seen Wesley, you know, shoot that first one. But then you, you see Chris Johnson, you know, and I think that's why people love him is, is you've kind of seen Chris's versatility. Yep, he's got a nose for the ball. Yeah, and, and he's made a three. He's 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 a bigger guard. Like, you look at his legs, like, you can tell he's stocky. He's picked it up defensively. Um, he, he's able to get on the glass because he's got the 6'5 for him. Mm -hmm. You know, so so that's like, you know, if you look at, at prototypical NBA guards, a lot of them are bigger. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've, I've loved, you know, even though I don't know, I don't think Chris has shot it great. Mm -hmm. You know, his versatility, once he really figures out how to play, yeah. you can see why people love him. Yeah, his game is very loud. I mean, he, he started off that first half one for six, but he just keeps coming at you. He doesn't let his misses dictate the the outcome of his overall game. And, you know, just doing a great job of just staying aggressive. Definitely. 
see what they get right here. Good Lightning take. in need of a basket, and they got one. That was a big time take right there from Eric Acker. He's had a great second half. Johnson, mm. weaving through. Walters lost it. Kind of got put in a tough spot there. Acker all the way again. Oh. Evades the shot blocker, but draws a foul. And they don't like it. Yeah, so I mean, what we what we teach our kids, like, you know, if you leave in the air, mm -hmm. know what you're doing. Yeah. Right, like right there he got stuck, and then he thought, okay, now I'm going to pass. Like, I never have had a problem with jump passes. Mm -hmm. If you know where the ball's going. Right. Right, or yeah. you see, I got this type of read on the backside. Right. It's when you jump when you're unsure. That's right. Right, right. And, and that was an unsure, and like you said, you know, you know, Trent's cutting down the middle, he, you know, he's, he's five nine and that's just a tough spot to be in so you know i, I would have liked to see chris kind of go up with that yeah to be exactly. honest yep and put like i said put pressure on that baseline referee i think they should be in the bonus if i'm not mistaken or, or close to it yeah tie game 51 apiece after the free throw split there here's chris johnson working the two-man game with zayden high a little ball fake shot up no rebound tipped out staying with jl3 yeah, Chris is going to be fun once once he really gets gets even more of an identity. I mean, his versatility—he can score on all three levels. And you yeah. know, a lot of the shots he's taken haven't been bad shots. They've been good yeah. shots. Just haven't. And I know last summer, I, don't, I can't speak on what he did in high school because I didn't get a chance to watch him. He did not have the ball in his hands nearly this much, so it's going to take some time to adjust. Yeah, playing with the ball in your hands like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and you know, I think when you have the ball in your hands, it's a little bit different dynamic and. You know, like right there, he had a high middle ball screen, and he just he didn't do a great job setting his guy up, so his guy stayed on his hip. But like those are all things that you know he'll get. But but what makes him special is he didn't do a great job, but he still was able to get a shot up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And and some guys can't do that. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's he's clearly getting to his spots at ease. Here is, I believe this is Caden Gums. They have the number incorrect on the uh, website, but I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that that's him. 52-51 the count. JL3 in front with 4.07 to play in the ballgame. And another caveat of the circuit uh, league this summer. Great take. That was a strong finish right there. That is if tough. We, if we do get to overtime, it's the Elam ending. First to seven, who wins? whoever wins. So... That's a little interesting caveat to follow if we get to that point. It's a 53-52 lead right now for Heat Lightning. Johnson launches a three. It's I good. mean, that's big time. That's big time. He comes off the, you know, pin down. Guy goes under, he straight cuts in. Shot ready. You know, and, and, and that's, that's, a, that's an NBA three. Yeah, that was deep. Quinn yeah. catch and release, too. Yeah. And it, it's confidence. You know, we call those confidence shots where there's no slight hesitation, just nice flow. Like you said, just catch, shot ready, getting the ball up and, and getting the full extension. Yep. You know, but this is another thing that we talk about a lot, Tyler. Um, just getting to the free throw line. I can't stress that enough, especially in these situations. You know, when you're in the bonus, no matter what happens, you know, you, you could, you're going to get these ticky-tack fouls yep. within these next few minutes. Yep. Somebody's going to, you know, have an ill advised foul. But allowing your guys to get to that free throw line, not only is, is giving you guys a chance to get the ball in the hole, but now from a coaching standpoint, you're, you're slowing, you know, you, it's like a uh, in-game timeout. So yeah, no question. You know what I mean? And you're able to make subtle adjustments while you're able to, you know, hold on to your timeouts, but at the same time, you know, and, that, and we're at the point now where, you know, we've said it's a possession game all game, but now it's like really the nitty gritty. Yeah. It's a possession by possession feel. Yeah, and I'm interested to see now, like, just defensively, because those last two times, you know, the Heat Lightning again were able to get in the lane and, and score. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how they've, they've scored. Yep. So can JL3 for the last 340 keep them out of the lane? If they do, then, you know, they'll win this game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Here's Mobley with it. Initiating things. And right here, Forget definitely want to blitz those ball screens. Yep. Yeah. Thought about it. Takes it. Yeah. Doesn't make it. Rebound. Who's got it? It's secured by Cole underneath. He'll pitch ahead to Chris Johnson. Here comes JL3. Johnson. What's he going to do with it? Pounded a little bit. Got to be careful. In the okay. middle to Cole. Kick out three. No. Yates attacks a closeout. Okay. Nice finish. Oh, no. Couldn't get it. And it's he lightning basketball. Made a good move to get the reverses. Couldn't knock it in. 
Heat Lightning going to settle it down here. Mobley crosses over. Takes a confident shot from three. Missed it way off. Underneath, though. That was an easy rebound for Jared Weekly. He's right place, right time. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, and I say, you know, we, we in, in our gym, we, we play three on three and all this stuff. Like, you got to be able to talk defensively. Yep. Yeah. And, and that is a big time finish right and you're there. right now. Coleman with a big bucket to give Heat Lightning a lead. It felt like the dry spell happened, but in the last few minutes, Heat Lightning has found a way to get some baskets at the rim. Here's Walters. Goes up. Late whistle, but it was the correct call. It's been actually an overall. The, the second half has been way better than the first half. You know, teams are starting to settle in. And I'm curious to see what, to your point, Tyler, defensively, you know, who's really trying to get stops. Yeah. And and it goes back to the communication. And I'm, I know, look, these kids are in high school. You know, I know they're not going to be just, they're not really taught the communication aspect, really, until you get into college. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's it a whole different. It goes to a different level. Yeah, it's a whole different dynamic. And, and communication is just, that's going to minimize a lot of your mistakes. Mm -hmm. No, no question. And I, and I mean, you know, two possessions ago, you see a, a middle ball screen, you know, with Yates and Chris Johnson as the defenders. And, and to me, they're likes. You just switch that right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of what Vanilla, Villanova does and what you see Houston does. And, and it, it just makes everything easier. You don't, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get through and do all that stuff unless, like, we have to. Right. Yep. If I can't switch, I'm going to switch. Mm -hmm. See what Johnson does here. He has two minutes to play. Johnson kick out high for three to take the lead. No good. Rebound. Who's got it? It's a battle, and it looks like the little man Walters finds a way. He has a, he loses the ball though, poked away by it. Looked like it was Mobley. And here comes Heat Lightning up by one minute 45 to play. Strong drive all the way to the basket. That was too easy and a confident finish from Acker, who has been the man with the magic in the second half. Minute and a half to go. Walters driving kick fouled on the pass. Don't know if they're in the bonus yet, but with a minute 27 left, Heat Lightning has a three-point lead. Yeah, the Heat just doing a great job of just continuing to come at you. You know, getting to the getting to the rim. You gotta you gotta love that as a coach. Yeah, it's gonna be. Let's. I'm, I think they're gonna run something. You know, maybe getting. Uh, either Wesley or Chris, you know, off something to get to get a three look right now mm -hmm. off of out of bounds play. Um, you know, is what I would look at. You know, I think they ran at the end of the, I think it was the third quarter. You know, they ran that little pin down, and, and Wesley was able to get that open three in the corner. And, and and these are like for coaches. These are situations you want to be in with the ball underneath your own basket. Yeah. And, and they're set plays. You know, I mean, yeah. Coach Schmidt, who I played for at St. Bonaventure. To me, set-wise, one of the best, and, and he loved having the ball under the basket because yeah. yeah. he could just dictate exactly what he wanted. And and, and this is a big, this is a big moment. One twenty-seven, you're down three. Um, you know, run something where you can either get an, an easy look three, I think. Yeah. You know, or you run something where you know you can get, like Tim said, you know, one of your longer guys at the rim trying to finish over. Yep. Yeah, those those baseline out of bounds plays are so underrated. Like, you know, and and that could obviously, you know, throughout the course of a game, that could be the difference maker. Yep. Six to eight extra points off of these baseline out of bounds plays, or even the sideline out yep. of bounds plays. You know, that, that's that's very important to not just not just to have it or go over in practices, but you know, be able to execute in the middle of the game. Yeah, that's what separates the the good signal callers from the great ones. Is so we'll see. I, I think they're gonna pin they're gonna pin Chris down as you see it right there. We missed him. They did a good job staying in the gap, staying here. So I, I, what Lightning's doing right now, instead of playing man, they're playing zone. Mm -hmm. You know, I, they're, they're just matching up zone. Yeah. They're not going to allow that three to happen. Um, you know, that's, a, that's a big time switch defensively, I think. Yeah. That's a great adjustment. Make I, them make shots. Make yeah. them think. And this is, you know, they've had a few trips down where they had some ill-advised turnovers, but slowing the game down, great adjustment by Coach from the Heat. Yates, a little leaner, no good. Under a minute to go. Heat Lightning have the basketball. 
But you don't need to foul here. You just got to play, you know, you got to play good defense. You got that timeout just in the nick of time. And they're going to talk it over. 49.3 left. Heat Lightning on the verge of pulling off the upset of the travel ball season so far. Yeah, and, and, and I, I love, I, and I don't know about you, Tim, but I love having timeouts at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't want to take timeouts unless I have to. Right? Yeah. Because they just got into a situation where it could have been a turnover. Now you maintain possession of the ball. Yeah, I think they still have one in the pocket. And, and they still have one in the pocket. So now, you have, you know, they came down 50 seconds on the clock. They have two timeouts left. And, and this is, to your point, that's... It's important for assistant coaches to also be aware of the foul count, the, the how many timeouts. Yep. You know, as a head coach, you're so focused on almost the macro of the game, the overall aspect of the game. But for the assistants, you know, making sure that they're communicating with the it, table. Yeah, yeah, everybody's on the same page. So great timeout right here. Be able to get everybody just on the same page collectively. And yeah. We, and we see the camaraderie. We're up here right next to this bench. We see the camaraderie of this staff. They're they're locked in. They're yeah, I mean, you know, game. he's you know, the assistant coach has been standing up the whole time in his ear and 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 the head coach is just you know he's 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 listening he's taking it in and you love that dynamic and now we got you know we got 16 seconds on this shot clock right here um you know this is this is a massive possession definitely oh turnover yeah going mm -hmm. the other way that hurts it does they got a chance to tie or get within one right here that's a tough Ty turnover right there tyler i got a question for you yeah in, in certain situations, are you fouling when you're up three, or are you just playing it out? I mean, right here, you, you always got to play it out. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I think when you get that under six seconds and stuff like that, you know, I, if I'm, I don't, I don't know, because now JL3, if JL3s, it depends who you are, too. Tie for the that tie. Like, no. Rebound you know, secured. Offensive rebounding, it's a big shot. Johnson for three. Oh. No good. Rebound. Stand with JL3. Now, now it's into that 20-second range, and I, I don't know where we are as far as like where they are one-on-one. -on -one, but if they got fouls to give, mm -hmm. you know, you use them. I'm as, use, yeah, I'm, as, you're always gonna yeah. try to use them. Um, and JL3's got to be aware of it because if they try to fight, you throw. Yeah, yeah. So right I don't right. know where we are foul, you know, as far as fouls go, if they're one-on-one -on -one or where they are. Um, but if you got fouls to give. You know, you try to play tough and try to go for the ball. Yep. You know, and, and try to get a steal. You know, but you, but you hack him right across the arm. Yeah, right. we saw Duke do that the other night against Texas Tech. Yes. Right. And, you know, and you know, so that's like the Tim's point. And, and again, that's the assistant coaches. Yes. Being two fouls to give. You know, we're, we're going to give two, and yep. then we're going to play straight up. Yep. yep. You know, and, and right here. In this next possession for the Heat, they want to make sure that they're staying on the shooters. I don't mind dribble penetration, but when you go to help, when there is penetration, yeah. now you have the ability to be able to kick out and, and get a, a great percentage uh, or a high percentage catch and shoot three. Yeah, and it looks like the Heat are going to go man to man right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we'll see if they can. You know, JL3 can can get a three look or or a quick basket. You know, it's got to be something quick. Yep. Here we go. It will be Cole on the inbound underneath the basket. We'll see what he gets. Cole has it, finds Yates for the tie. It's up. It's no. good. Wesley Yates ties the game with 20 seconds to go. What a shot. 15 seconds. Here comes Heat Lightning. It's Mobley. This is what you live for right here. 10 gotta seconds get it over. left. But now, right now, you got to play in. Like, that was too much. Yep. Tough shot up. No good. Rebound. Who's got it? Walters does. Can Shoot. he get it up? I don't think he did, mm. but it's no good either way. And we will have overtime first to seven here at the circuit. Right. You know, and these possessions are massive. Are massive. You, you look at UCLA last night. You know, they're down... Um, I think North Carolina was down three. Yeah. They give up an offensive rebound, and Kayla Love hits a three to tie it. Yeah. Yep. And those are those. I mean, that's a final four opportunity that you just threw away. Yep. yep. Yates thinking about it. A little contact there. Down low, Zayden High puts mm -hmm. it in. Two points on the board right there. And here we go. 61-59. Here comes Heat Lightning. It's in the hands of Eric Acker. He's been the one creating a lot of offense today. Acker looking to create. Has it taken away. That's good. Gates falls on it, gives it up to Cole. This is rim all the way. Cole, left-hand lay. It's a four-point lead. That's a, that's a big time by, by, by Wesley Yates, though. Just sitting down, 
you know, and, and being in the stance. And, and you can see, you know, Wesley's energy. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I, you know, that's kind of the Wesley Yates that we all thought we were going to see. Is, yeah. is and, and he has been massive yes. in this second half. I think he's got almost four threes. Yeah. Um, I would say he's, what, 13 to 15 points. He's been locked in defensively, you know, helping the weak side, spurting out the shooters. And, and then, I mean, now you're up four. Yeah. And, and that's probably the biggest stop in the game. And now it's a one-possession game and for every, And it feels like every basket he's had has just felt so timely for him. Yeah. Right. The right place, right time. Right. Yeah. Definitely the X factor for, for JL3. Yeah. You know, and, and again, like, you know, credit to JL3 staff. That was a great, you know, out-of-pounds play where you put your two shoot shooters in a cross-screen action mm -hmm. where, you know, they, they kind of switch and then, then you pinned with the big. Yep. You know, and you got that corner three look. Yeah. You know, and it was a quick shot, and then they got that stop at the end of uh, regulation. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a big play for the Heat Lightning right now. Yeah. You know, you're definitely going to have to make, make this convert at least – whether it's a two or a three right here, but you're going to have to get a stop on the other end either way. Exactly. So we'll see what they get. Oh, oh we wow. turned it over. No, nah, I think it hit 21. So that's still oh, that's big a big shot one. right there. It is up and mm. no good, but a rebound from Cole. If they hit a three, they win the game. But I would still attack. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's a wide to. open three. You're yeah. up four. You don't, you know. Just go. Just go. Keep play. playing the pace you're playing at and, and attack. Yates yeah. thinking about I it. I love it. Great move. I love it. Oh, great move. Couldn't get the finish. A lot of contact underneath. Here comes Mobley. But now I mean, you got to get numbers. You got numbers. A great job of, of Trent getting in that passing lane. But that was that was a great job by Wesley Yates mm -hmm. attacking the rim and, you know, putting the onus on the officials like Tim said. Mm -hmm. Here comes Acker. Can he have a little more heroics left in him? Now it's Mobley. They're going to work it around to Coleman. Coleman looking to create. Coleman attacking. Kind of got caught. Now it's Mobley with it. Ball a little slippery, it looks like. Wants a ball screen. They got to go. In the middle of the floor. Jumper is up. No good. Follow rebound Great secured pass. by Yates. But I think JL3 has a better understanding of who Cole for the win. It goes. No good. They have a better understanding of who they're guarding. Yeah. You know, I think in the first half, you know, they were really pressuring these guys, and now they actually know what guys are starting to do well, yeah. mm -hmm. and they're staying in front of 21. Yep. You know, where where before it was like, let's get up in them. They, they're, they're kind of playing arm's length. They're not letting him do what he does well, which is get in the lane and make things happen. Mm -hmm. And and it's that's what it's about, is is, is from game to game, understanding matchups, yep. you know, defensively how to play guys. Um, and I think JL3's done a great job you know, in this second half. And I mean, you know, 59-63, you know, so they're winning this second half by almost 18 points right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a great point, Tyler. I mean, just, just for these young guys to understand, what, you know, tendencies when you're on the defensive side. You know, we always talk about the first three possessions when somebody catches the ball. They kind of tell you what type of player they are. Yep. So just being able to study that a little bit. You know, as he drives here, great drive. Up and under. It's a great two-foot stop, right? Yeah. That's, that's what Villanova's done so well. Under control. You know, multiple pivots and then faded away off it. See what they get. A three would win it. Strong drive, kick out high, almost a turnover. Chris Johnson's got it. He finds Cole in the corner. Cole's trapped. Needs to find a friend to pass to. Timeout. And they're going to talk it over. Great job. You gotta you gotta give credit to the Heat Lightning though. Yeah, I mean, that was a great just, defensive possession. They're just battling, they're, they're giving everything they have. And I think if I'm not mistaken, everybody on this team has got in at mm -hmm. some point in time and, and have contributed. If they haven't scored, I mean they definitely either assisted or definitely show up in the box score. Yep. Yeah, and I, and I think that's like, you know, like when didn't St. Peter sub five in, five out yesterday? Oh yeah. I think they did. Yeah, the you know, and, and I think it keeps everybody locked in. Um, you know, to a certain point, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, you, you can't play everybody the same amount of minutes. No, of course not. You know, but at the same time, if they've shown they can play hard and they can spell minutes for your better players, then, you know, you play them and it, and it helps everybody stay engaged, you know, on keeps, the bench. Keeps guys and these guys have been really engaged on the bench. Yeah. yeah. It's always a good problem to have. Yeah. And it keeps the competitive uh, spirit alive when you know you have somebody behind you that could take your minutes and even give them 
That's high. That's a great play. Couldn't get the bucket. Oh. And a rebound is secured by Heat Lightning. They could tie or take the lead right here. I would like to see Zayden kind of gather more right there because yep. he's, he's longer. He's not really worried about the shot blocker, but that was a great little pin down for the out-of-bounds guy to get him on that cruel cut, you know, at the rim. Here comes Heat Lightning. It's Coleman putting his head down, driving. Goes up, finish, no. Rebound secured by Johnson. And they got to get a basket here. A three wins the game. Oh my goodness, he pulled up from way deep. Trying to go for the dagger. I don't know. You know what? I, I like the confidence. <laughs> I like the confidence. confidence level was high there on that. Yeah. Show. yeah. <laughs> And I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't kill. Obviously, you know they still. It just gives them has. another chance. Yeah, I mean, if he makes it, we're not even having this conversation. 100. percent At the same time, uh, you gotta look. You gotta at least appreciate. Yeah, I'm doing that. my my Bill Rafferty onions impression to be a shot. <laughs> Here is again Mobley. pivots though and the ability to kick three seconds three seconds mm. you know and, and you saw that I think in UCLA right yeah you saw that in that late game there they called three seconds mm -hmm. you know uh, who was it on I think it was on was it on Hawkins yeah, that's what I said I think yeah. it was on Hawkins you know and, and almost within the move you saw that at the game I, I you know I've only seen that a couple times and then you know we just saw it right here yeah see what Trent Walters can get. He'll give it over to Yates. Ball screen set for him. He's going to attack downhill. Goes up strong. Yeah, That's a time. big time finish from Wesley Yates. Yates. Great job of just getting downhill. Yeah. Coming out, you know, full steam ahead and just getting into the body of that defender. Here is Heat Lightning. Trying to stay alive. Strong drive there and draw a foul. They're going to have a chance to go to the line right here. It was Matt, Kyle Marshall going to the line. These are massive free throws because now... It, it, if you make these, it's it's 63, and you can set your defense. And now, now you get to set your defense, mm -hmm. you know, and and it's one stop. Yep. It's what you do in practice, like Tim yep. said. You know, it's it's the it's what you do in college when it's like, hey, there's you know, you do the Ooh. four and four shell, Jerry misses the first, but you do four and four, five on five, three on three shell. You got to get three stops. Yeah. To get your butts out, and, and and if you don't have some dogs in there with you, <laughs> then sometimes you know those are when in college. There'll be some there'll be some fights. Mm -hmm. 65, 61, second one gets it to go. Every point matters here in the Elam ending. Here comes Wesley Yates. A bucket ends the game. A single point ends the game. Yates all the way, had it ripped away, and it is staying with JL3. Man, Yates is just so strong. You know, he's built like a linebacker, but once he gets that shoulder inside your chest, I mean it's pretty much a wrap. Yep. Here is Zayden High on the inbound, gets it to Cole. Cole trying to figure it out. Has to evade, gets it out to Walters. Walters, working in the two-man game. Crosses over, gives it out to Chris Johnson. Johnson, being sure, hounded. Sure. He'll drive. Johnson goes up, up and under. He'll go to the line, and if he makes one, the game is over. Yeah. But that's a great job playing off two feet yeah. and, and you know, kind of getting to that little, you know, eight to ten foot area, playing off two, you know, showing your shot fake up and then creating contact in the line. And that's the ball game. It looks like that would do it. What a win for JL3. And, and to be completely honest, Heat Lightning showed everyone that they're going to be a team that coaches need to watch all summer long. They got 